uh, you lobbied against the Comprehensive Iran Sanctions Accountability and Divestment Act, which I was the author of. You reportedly, under ExxonMobil, wanted to eliminate secondary sanctions that would prevent joint ventures. This makes sense as in 2003 and 2004 and 2005, you were engaged to a subsidiary company in businesses with countries who the United States listed as state sponsors of terrorism, including Iran, Syria, and the Sudan. Countries that, except for the maneuver of your subsidiary, ExxonMobil could not have been dealing with. ExxonMobil is listed as a coalition member of USA Engage, an advocacy, an advocacy group that lobbies against sanctions. This group also lobbied against sanctions, including against Iran, and applauded passage of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. So my question is, with that as a history, with uh, the work that you did in the spring of 2011, where you oversaw an ExxonMobil deal with the Kurdish regional government in Iraq, after the United States government expressly did not want to see that happen, fearing that a deal would undermine the U.S. policy of one Iraq and lead the country closer to civil war, what message are you now going to be able to send to American businesses who are intent on pursuing their own interests at the expense of U.S. policies and potential pol political stability in foreign countries? How are you going to recalibrate your priorities as Secretary of State? Your shareholders are the American people and their security and their interests. I have never lobbied against sanctions, personally. Uh, I continue to believe but the sanctions. company you directed did. To, to my knowledge, Exxon never directly lobbied against uh, sanctions, not to my knowledge. In terms of all the other actions uh, that, were, that were mentioned there, they've been done with, they were all undertaken with a great deal of transparency and openness and engagement and input to the process. That's, that's the beauty of the American process, is that uh, others are invited to express their view and inform the process. Uh, but that, my pivot now, if confirmed to be Secretary of State, will have one mission only, and that is to represent the interest of the American people.